And so to the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. I'm going to do a little search here for a position that I've just picked up a research assignment on. And this is food and beverage. It's a director position. And it's actually director of R&D. So let's see what Google's gadget will do out of the box. And you can see here that the results that we've generated from the web are pretty much the exact same results that we would expect had we have taken this search and dropped it directly into the search engine. Um, we've got some results here that don't look particularly impressive and there's certainly not that many for us to go through and there are no results at all from the blog so let's just take these exact same keywords and put them into our on the fly engine and let's see what results we can generate so you can see immediately that we've got some really good results and on closer examination no doubt we'll be able to identify a couple of people that we'll be able to mark as high probability targets. So we'll come back and refine this a little bit more. What I'll do is I'll put a date in here. Now the reason that I'm putting the date in is because I know that if I can identify somebody that's been you know, three or four years uh, into their current employer, they're going to be much more receptive to my overtures and they may well entertain the possibility of moving on. Whereas if somebody's only just been recently appointed and they've got their feet under the desk, they may well be in the mode of uh, hanging around and uh, making an impression. So we want to be able to identify people that had been appointed three or four years ago so that we can time our calls appropriately. And this also talks to one of the subtle things that is important about this whole approach. Understanding how to use the information that you've searched understanding what information that you want the search engine to produce its results from are going to determine to a large extent the kind of success that you can have using this approach. So that basically is how we create a custom search engine on the fly using Blogger. And I'm just going to wrap up now by giving you a couple of examples of what these engines look like when they're actually finished. So let's take a look. So let's just wrap things up with a couple of footnotes. Here we're looking at another one in the vertical intelligence series of engines that I'm building out and this is talking specifically to defense. So it's quite important to understand that the way that you configure the sites that you're drawing your search results from and the keywords that you use in relation to the pages that you've indexed are all going to affect the results that you achieve. So you can see unlike the previous search engine where we basically copied the results from a regular search and pasted them in as a refinement almost. Here we've got websites that have been identified as being specifically in line with the kind of vertical that we're searching here and these are all Department of Defense sites so you can see our tax dollars are being very well spent and there's a great many of these sites that are actually producing the results that we're looking at. And you know if you look at this closely enough you start to see possibilities that don't immediately appear obvious but once discovered seem almost impossible to miss. So for example I'm working on a couple of assignments where I'm trying to identify business development managers for systems integrators in the Virginia market. So one of the easiest things that we could do is literally just type in the word attendees and I'm going to type in one of the actual competitors that I'm targeting, Lockheed Martin. and you see here we can generate very targeted results that are consistent with what we're looking for knowing full well that these are all documents coming from the Department of Defense. You can't see this very well but you can see here that we've got the names and the cities and the states and the telephone numbers and the email addresses of folk and if we continue we could see quite a bit of stuff that would probably help us significantly in our identifying the appropriate candidates. 
And of course, just understanding the language and the syntax and the semantics of the sites that you're searching is very important. So for example, if I was looking for anybody um, of rank, then clearly being able to identify them as a captain or as a commander or what have you would, would be important. And you can see here, we don't need a tremendous amount of Boolean syntax, if any, to be able to start to hone in on the kinds of folk that we're trying to bring into our funnel. So another thing to bear in mind is that these search engines can and probably should stack on top of each other so that you're building a hierarchy of search engines with increasing levels of refinement. So you can see here, not only am I drawing results from these links, but I'm also drawing results from these links in the sidebar, which are indeed also search engines that narrow things down. In this instance, defense contractors, and these are all taken from a directory. And you know, if you want to keep your clients happy, you give them a little video or some quote and that uh, typically cheers them up when they're fed up. And even on skill sets, so information security is one of the skill sets that um, was also very important to the client that I was working with. And here you can see again we've used results from a search on Google, but in this case again we were very, very specific. We were looking at events, conferences, seminars, trade shows, and so forth. Because in every instance, what we're trying to do is identify those web pages that we can very easily associate with the individuals who can equally be identified based on their backgrounds, their skill sets, and what have you. So that really does wrap up everything that I had to share with you today. I do appreciate the time that you've spent with me. I'm hoping that we'll be able to spend more time in some upcoming session. And until that happens, I'll bid you good day and happy Googling. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.